Okay, so in that last one, we talked about um, having the text being aligned in the center um, for some of them, right? So if I look back in here, um, the text is aligned to the left, and that's the default preference for um, our Django project, right? And it's the default preference for Bootstrap as well, um, and especially for lead. So what if we wanted these to be aligned in the center? Now there's a few ways to do it, of course. Um, there's You can use CSS, so we go ahead and look at the head CSS. We can put it in here into our own CSS document, uh, which we have a CSS document that we can put it into, which is navbar static top. This is based off of you know the um, actual example that we're working with, so you could put it in here. Um, we could also do inline style sheets, like what we did with the background color here, uh, which this is not a good idea. Uh, it's not preferred, uh, as I should say, by most designers. Um, developers might do it to do it faster, but it's not preferred. So what we want to do is actually create a style sheet um, for specifically for just this page. And to do this, uh, we want to use blocks. And here I'm going to use make a new block near head and just write a below, a below head. I'll say block style. And I'll do in block. And I'll use the style tag here. So style. Close off the style tag. So the style tag is has to do with CSS styling. Um, and since we're doing this block, um, we want to put this in the base because we're inheriting from the base. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one and go to base.html. And below the head CSS stuff, put it here. And the reason I put it below is because we want to make sure that all the head CSS stuff happens before everything else. Because the computer reads from top to bottom, left to right. So block styles, here we go. Um, and for the style tag, the reason the style tag is on our home is just for syntax correcting. If we didn't have this style tag in here, if that was gone, still work. All right, so you should have an idea of what's going to happen here, hopefully. Um, so this means that we can actually play around with quite a bit of stuff here. Now I can override the lead class and say text align center. So this is overriding the lead class. But just on this page, it's not going to be everywhere. So if I refresh in here, all of this text is now in the center. Um, so boom, we now officially have that working exactly the way we want it to. Um, so if we added that lead tag anywhere, so let's say, for instance, we added it to the Jumbotron, so class lead in here, and we refreshed, notice it would automatically align that center too. Cool. Um, but that is going to have some unintended consequences by using the lead um, class because we don't know everything about this lead class. We just know that it actually is perfectly aligned um, or it has a certain style to it. That's what we do know. But what we don't know is what if we used it somewhere else and we forgot about it, right? Somewhere else on the page. Then we would accidentally make everything align, which is not ideal, especially if we're only doing it for one page. If we're doing it for all pages, nah, no worries. So we could just make a new class for ourselves and say text align center. We can make that as the class, our own custom class, if you will, and copy this and add it to all of our lead classes. Come in through and just add it wherever we want text align center to be. All right, so we refresh, everything looks the same. All right, still working good. Um, but we could also add like, let's say for instance, we wanted to add color. So we want to change the color, we'd say red could do that and it would change that to being red as well uh, and would, the, the actual name of it would have to change if you change it to being color but text line center that's a fairly good one to have for uniformity I mean if we want to add text align center anywhere this might be a good class to actually add to our um, CSS so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna cut this out go into the nav bar save this in here save all right, and what do we need to do now that we've customized our CSS? We want to do something, and that is collect static. So Python manage.py, collect static. Say yes. Notice that it overrode, overwrite the static, stav, static top, that's CSS. And now if we run the server and refresh in here, it's right in the center. Um, cool, so that is actually something that makes a lot of sense for us. 
uh, and it's working really well. Um, notice that we have some errors. So in the crispy form tag, uh, crispy forms, the project itself, I didn't notice this before, but I am now. Um, this is giving us some errors from uh, the, what's happening in Django 1.9. But uh, we don't have to worry about that because it's a third-party library and it's something that they will most likely upgrade. Um, so from time to time, if you see these errors, and let's say, for instance, you're about to switch to Django 1.9, you're just going to want to update that old library with doing, uh, first off, pip freeze to see what it is. And that's this right here. And then we do pip install that. But instead of the version, we would just add upgrade to the end. And then that would upgrade it. Because uh, more than likely they will fix that error before 1.9 comes out. Okay, so anyways, so now we've got this styled and more importantly, we learned about how you can use blocks uh, on a whole different level and that's using CSS. Um, and you could you could continue to do it exactly how we did just here. Uh, and in some cases we do that. It, sometimes it makes sense to do that, uh, especially for one page. But really when you are gonna use something that's gonna be globally used, you wanna use the external style sheets. Uh, and if you don't want to customize the ones from, from Bootstrap themselves, you can add a new style sheet in here saying like custom.css. So let's go ahead and do that. That's probably more likely what we'll do. Custom.css is we won't even touch the Bootstrap stuff because I would recommend not doing that because if you start playing around with their code, then you might make it really hard for yourself or somebody else down the line when you forget what you did. So I'm going to cut out this. Um, and then in custom CSS, I'm going to paste that back in. All right, so now bar static top is back to what it was. Custom CSS is there. And now what do we need to do? Well, we need to make sure that our CSS is in there. So in our head document, we're going to go ahead and copy this, paste here, and just change this to being custom. Notice custom is at the very bottom of all this. But at, in our home, or excuse me, in our base.html, custom is included in here. So we can still override any of those properties, which is great. Okay, so now we've got that. What do we do? Well, Python manage.py and collect static. Say yes. Again, overriding stuff, adding stuff, all that. And we run server. Refresh in here. Still working. Perfect. Okay, so if you have any questions on this, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.